I just got my new Philips Hue bulbs, which cost about 50 bucks a piece. Had a little dance party for my two-year-old, who then went to bed, and then I knocked the bulb over, and it broke. Rather than waste 50 bucks, I'm going to try to fix it. This is with no diffuser. Doesn't light the lampshade up. And then it does this to the light. It's all rainbowy. So I saw a tutorial that you can use these IKEA LEDs, which I happen to have one in a lamp, and it's very weak. It's like a little 40 watt equivalent. Tried cutting it with the saws I had at my house, which aren't very good for this, and didn't work. So I'm gonna try something else to get the diffuser off. Okay, so I'm gonna try cutting on this edge and see what happens. Try cutting this way and see what happens. Okay, we're going back to what I started with, which is this little saw. I'm gonna try to make a little notch so that I can see when I'm trying to peel it off. I just really don't want to mess the diffuser up. The saw ended up working kind of like a small piece of sandpaper that weakened the plastic. And then after I had weakened it, I grabbed my utility knife and I was able to pry up a little piece. Yeah, that looks promising. Here I just repeated the process as I went around the bulb. Certain generations of this bulb apparently you can cut right through the plastic and get the diffuser out. Mine, the diffuser was right up against the metal, so I had to do it this way. It's a little more work, so depending on what generation of bulb you get from IKEA, it may be easier for you to separate the bulb from the diffuser. While we're watching the rest of this footage of me finishing this step, I'll just share that as I was setting up the lamps, I was kind of afraid that my two-year-old daughter might accidentally knock one of them over and how expensive it would be if she broke one. So, of course, that's exactly what I did after she went to bed. Starting to go, finally. All right. So on the frame bed. Okay. So here's the IKEA bulb you can see. It's got some LEDs all around there. So I need diffusers so that the light spreads evenly and looks like a light bulb but not just a bunch of little LEDs. There's the diffuser. It's got that ring of silicone or plastic melted. I'm not sure which it is. I haven't felt it yet. I think it's both actually. I think it's silicone and some of the plastic from the um, outside of the bulb, the casing. So it comes right off. You can just pick it off. So it looks like you can just kind of take a utility knife and scrape it like this. Cleans most of it off. Use your fingernails for most of it, some of it too, to finish off the part the utility knife won't get. Okay, now for the kind of dangerous part. Shouldn't be too bad. One of our gloves. This is the hue bulb with glass on it. The glass is held together by silicone, so when it shatters, it doesn't make a huge mess, but I can pull most of it out just with my gloves, it looks like. So we're going to have to use the pliers. I'm trying not to crack the bulb. Hmm. All right, so we're going to have to use the utility knife again. Just kind of cut around in there in the silicone. All right, so it looks like the best way to do this is to go around underneath. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there's a little, where the glass comes out, right here it kind of curves in, so I'm going underneath. You have to be careful not to cut too deep or you'll cut the little protective plastic right here. You can kind of just cut underneath there and A little prying. 
It's another thing I'm trying. I'm just taking the diffuser, the new diffuser, and just sticking it in there and using it to kind of smash up the glass, not to vacuum it anyway. So it's not crackling as much. Looks like some of it's coming off, and that actually cleaned some of the silicone off of this too. So I don't know if you can see this, but right here. There's actually a little bit of, it looks like I cut too deep, but it actually is part of the little plastic. See, don't be afraid if you crack that. I thought I had messed it up. There's a little bit of a little gap in this little dome thing. And you gotta get down in there to get the silicone and the glass out from the diffuser. All right, next tool I'm trying is a little tiny screwdriver. I can just kinda drag it back and forth like cleaning teeth. My mom's a dental assistant and I was thinking about calling her and seeing if she has any uh, those little scaling tools they use to clean your teeth because that would probably be perfect for this. But I'm too lazy to drive over to my parents' house and get it even if she has them. <laughs> and this will work fine. It really does feel like cleaning teeth. You see that? that? I can get underneath the little dome. So there's a lot of silicone and glass in that area. And I found a new technique. So if I take my little screwdriver and I want to tilt it this way along the edge, not across the dome, but along the edge, and I can kind of gouge underneath where the silicone is connected to the outer lip. I probably should be wearing the glove on the left hand, not the right hand here. But I can kind of lift it up. All right, so if I just take the screwdriver, little screwdriver, and just kind of go back and forth like this, I can break up a lot of the silicone and get it out nice and deep. This time I'm just holding the blade kind of however, mostly going straight up and down because I'm just trying to get deep in there. I got it pretty cleaned out. I'm just gonna use some compressed air. Try to blast it all out. I didn't mess the electronics up. I once tried to clean a motherboard with compressed air and broke the motherboard. So. Okay. So the bulb is the Philips, the new Philips Hue bulbs, the ones the second generation. And it looks like the original ones fit the IKEA bulb better than the new ones do. So they won't actually snap, won't snap in. Um, so you have to seal it with something. So I got this. Silicone 2 stuff that's usually used for windows and showers and all that kind of thing. Um, this can work up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be plenty for this bulb. So we're going to use that to attach these two. This is clear silicone. Since there's a little bit of a lip, I'm going to actually go in that groove right there. Also, Soapy water to clean off the top since I got some on there. Now I need to clamp it somehow. Alright, here's my bulb with the diffuser on it from IKEA. That works fine. No, none of that rainbow that it was doing before. So. Here's my bulb after about uh, five, six hours of drying. It doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't make any weird blotches. Probably should use epoxy or something instead of silicone steel because, or a 
the silicone caulk because this isn't the strongest. So when I screw it in, unscrew it, I'm going to do it with this. And I may actually put this one in a ceiling light just so it's not being handled as much. But it works. Save me 50 bucks.